Oh, hello, Virgo. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment that's reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Virgo? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for the sign of Virgo? Please and thank you. I just started thinking about something earlier. Virgo so y'all are really uh, y'all have really learned to set your priorities straight here because I'm seeing that you guys are in this energy where you are prioritizing yourself you're doing the things that make you happy you're doing the things that make you feel good and whatever is not making you feel good if you feel like your energy is off whenever you're around certain people or it's just something that you don't want to do, you're not forcing yourself to do it. Some of y'all, it can be something as simple as you have family members that's telling you to come over, but every time you come over, you feel uncomfortable, you feel unwelcomed. So you're like, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. I am really seeing someone in this energy of doing what's best for them and it's making you very happy. You're realizing how happy you are when you prioritize yourself and you're honest with yourself and the people around you. So you're no longer willing to compromise yourself, your energy, your happiness, just to make someone else feel comfortable. The thing is, is I'm getting that you need to be patient with yourself. You're needing to be patient uh, during this time that you're going through this healing and you're learning to really stand up for yourself to voice um, your opinion here, being honest with, with others as well, because it's guiding you towards cornucopia here, which is the land flowing with milk, milk and honey. This is where you desire to be. This is that place in your life where you said, you know, I'm doing all of this to make this happen. This is what's happening. It's like all the obstacles that you had to face, all the challenges that you had to work through. This is what you are doing it for. They're just wanting you to be patient as you work with the universe to balance things out in your life. Because they want you to be honest that all of these things didn't happen overnight. So it's not going to be an overnight process of going through this healing and getting you to this place that you desire to be. Where you feel abundant, you feel secure. You're naturally attracting the things in your life that you desire. But you're definitely on the right path here. In the process, they're wanting you to continue to focus on what makes you happy, prioritizing yourself, not to lose sight of that. 
and to continue to turn your back on the people and the things that don't value you. They don't respect you. Okay, so their advice is to open yourself up to some new partnerships because they're guiding you towards some new partnerships here. They're bringing some in for you. And these are energies and people that you can trust because this is overcoming um, those toxic connections a negative mindset. You're overcoming this. You're defeating this energy. So as you overcome this toxic energy and you no longer allow it to have control over you, whatever it may be in your life, because to each its own, you're attracting new partnerships and new energies towards you. That's allowing you to grow, to expand, They want you to be mindful of when you're in this energy of you don't feel inspired, you don't feel motivated, you're not thrilled about something here to acknowledge that. Because some of y'all, when you're in that energy, it's because you're around some people that are affecting your energy and some of you guys, when you're in that energy, is because you shouldn't be going towards something. You shouldn't be taking action towards something. But you need to realize which situation is which. Is it because you shouldn't be taking action towards something? Or is it because the people that you're around is affecting your energy where you're not taking action towards something that you should. Because the challenge here is to no longer sacrifice yourself for others, to sacrifice what you have in store for you for the sake of others, to no longer waste your time, 
to content to stop continuing to bump your head in the same spot at the same place because the thing is is that there are some people here that were intentionally wasting your time intentionally misguiding you leading you on with the seven of wands here they knew that you were they saw you stepping into your power here. Some people were jealous of some attention you were getting. So they were trying to throw you off course here. I'm really getting more of this energy of some people within your surrounding just really trying to misguide you. But you knew it. You knew something was up and it was really because they were jealous of your success and the things that you like, the things that you have achieved. Some of you guys like your position. Y'all may have some people that wanted the position that you're in and they're trying to act like they're your friend, but really they're trying to throw you underneath the bus and you know what's up. You're being guided away from these energies. Because I'm going to tell you what is some people that are going to be really pissed off that you have transformed your energy after cutting them off, no longer allowing them to affect you. It's like they try to do so much to sabotage what you had going on in your life or what you have achieved, but you've overcame it and you transformed your life. And the best part is you did it after you cut these people off and they know that there's no chance for them to come back because they show their true colors. They try to tell you that you didn't deserve to be where you were. You didn't belong there trying to talk down to you, trying to make you feel like you weren't worthy. Some of you guys, they made you feel like you were ugly, but it was really because that's how they felt about themselves. They were jealous. They try to strip you of your beauty. Some of y'all even notice your looks changing when you get away from some people. And it's because they were draining you of your energy. They had you stressed out. There's some people that were literally, they wanted to be you. Leeching off of you. The energy that you're being guided towards are people that are straight up and honest with you. I'm really getting that y'all are going to be in this energy of second guessing people's intentions towards you after experiencing these type of connections in the past, not just love, but um, family and friends as well, co-workers too. Because y'all are going to be in this energy of what you got up your sleeve. Always second guessing some people here. But the people that you're being guided towards are going to be straight up and honest with you. You're also being guided towards this energy of no longer allowing negative energies to affect you, being unbothered, learning to become more flexible and adaptable.
yeah enjoy growth and reap rewards you guys are stepping into this energy of naturally attracting abundance but it's more than naturally attracting abundance because i'm seeing you guys actually being in this energy of abundance and willing to help other people reach the same level in their life so you guys are helping people to grow as well to achieve the things that they desire to achieve some of you guys may get into like business here helping people to establish a business or uh, resources here I'm really getting this energy of someone here. It's like by you helping other people is bringing in more blessings for you. Yeah, see from a higher perspective. The thing is, is that I'm really getting that you guys are very intuitive. The divine is giving you a higher perspective to see things. It's like, so you guys have, you guys are able to have a leg up here. Like the divine is giving you a leg up by giving you insight. And I'm seeing that you're taking advantage of it. Because you're definitely able to see, you're able to see more than others. And it's really because you have good intentions here and that you're helping other people as well. So it's blessing you. Overall, be graceful in movement and action. I am getting that you guys are very graceful um, about the way you're moving through situations here. It's like there are some people, because you're looking back at past situations here. And I'm getting that some situations, like when you reflect on the things that people, the things that some people have done to you, it puts you in this energy. It's like it really pisses you off but you remain graceful about the situation or you're being guided to because they're wanting you to really it's like despite what some people tried to push you through in the past you were able to continue to push forward and achieve the things that you desire in life because you had your eye on the prize because i'm saying some of y'all are wanting to give some people here um Y'all wanting to let some people have it. But they're saying not to focus on those people, but to focus on the things that you have achieved and what you're working towards. Continue to be graceful because that's what's been blessing you so far. So don't allow these people to throw you off course and to disrupt your blessings. bountiful nature some of y'all may be into like growing things um because i'm getting like a lot of nature energy with the empress here and then bountiful nature spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of god's infinite abundance go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet meditate beneath a tree garden sit underneath the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness 
moonlighting. Some of you guys will benefit from like going out at night, sitting underneath the stars. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career, career, career will take flight and fully support you. So whatever with bountiful nature here and moonlighting, there's something that they're wanting you to apply your efforts towards and take it one day at a time. But the more you love and nourish on this, the more it's going to grow. And eventually you won't have to work for anyone else. So this is a specific message for someone here. Some of you guys are already doing this and they're just, they're just giving you a message of being patient with the process, not to rush it. Because if you take your time and you do it the right way, then it's going to last. But if you try to rush something here and you skip a couple of steps, that's when things get all jacked up. So do it the right way. Be patient because you, you're being guided towards a place in your life where you're no longer having to work for anyone. You're attracting so much abundance by whatever you're doing. I am seeing that this is uh, referring to someone who's an entrepreneur. But I am going to leave it there. These are messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.